Northamptonshire had one of their best days of the LV County Championship summer after Adam Rossington equalled his career best score of 103 before David Willey took three late Nottinghamshire wickets as the title chasers were left wondering what might have been on day one of their game at Wantage Road. Chris Reid won the toss and invited the home side to bat first only for James Kettleborough and acting captain James Middlebrook to get Northamptonshire off to a solid enough start as they return to a competition which has haunted them for much of the season. 27 runs were made off the first dozen overs before Kettleborough tried to leave a ball from Harry Gurney alone, only to play on to go for 11. Only Durham and Middlesex have failed to beat Northampton so far this season in 11 LV County Championship games and relegation back to the second flight at the first time of asking is a certainty for them but they will want to finish the four-day season as strongly as they can showing some fight on the way and that's something Kyle Kurtzer and Middlebrook did as they added 50 runs for the second wicket in 15 overs. But they then suffered their latest collapse either side of lunch after Middlebrook on 32 edged Stephen Mullaney's first delivery behind. In the second over after the break, Kurtzer was bowled by Andre Adams for 30 before Ben Duckett edged Luke Fletcher to Alex Hales after making five. Rob Keogh was out in the next over, pushing at a delivery from Adams to offer Mullaney a catch. And Northamptonshire had slipped from 77 for one to 108 for six when Adams struck for a third time in the space of four overs by bowling Andrew Hall for three. It was all going just the way Knotts wanted on the day that it was announced that the very talented all-rounder Will Gidman will be joining them from Gloucestershire at the season's end, a move that did not please the Bristol-based coach John Bracewell, who used the word parasites to describe those who buy players from other counties. Rossington will be hoping for a similar move from Middlesex to Wantage Road. Currently on loan, he played the innings of the day. He dominated a seventh wicket stand of 66 with Matt Spriegel, who'd made 19 when he inside edged Fletcher behind with a score on 174 for seven. Willie is still trying to find his best form since returning from a back injury, and he got his innings moving by striking Samit Patel for a six. And before tea, Rossington had reached his second half century of the championship summer off his 74th delivery, from which he'd found the boundary on six occasions. It was the knock which was gluing this innings together and frustrating the visitors, no doubt. Still, they would have been hopeful of batting well before the close when Gurney had Willie caught by Hales in the slips shortly after tea. And then championship debutant Neil Wagner, the New Zealand international, was out for a duck as Gurney struck again. Ricky Vessels with the catch this time, which left Northamptonshire on 227 for nine. Rossington was on 79 when he was joined by last man Azarulla and he approached what was to be a maiden championship 100 by thumping Gurney for a six. Only one run was scored at the other end as 59 were added for the last two wickets. Rossington quite brilliant in manipulating the strike as well as playing his shots as he got to his turn off 122 balls with a sweep off Ajmal Shazad that carried the distance. This innings may well be the making of the 21-year-old who fully deserved the applause. He was out two balls later, having matched his best ever first-class score. Shazad knocking out his leg stump, but Rossington had helped his side to a total of 260 with his 103, having been 108 for six early in the afternoon. It gave Nottinghamshire 18 overs to bat out the day, but in the second of them, Willie bowled Hales by the inside edge for five. And it was two in his first over for the England Lion when he had the other opener, Mullaney, caught behind by Rossington. Not that the batsman was too happy about the decision. James Taylor, like Hales, coming into this match on the back of a sensational century at Lords on the previous day, then misjudged the length of this ball from Azarola and was LBW for four. Before Willie had Patel held at first slip by Hall, leaving the visitors on 25 for four. Willie with figures of three for one from four overs. 
Michael Lum and Vessels survived the next seven overs before bad light took the players off with 20 balls left. And that would have been a relief for Knotts, who will look to rebuild on the second morning when they'll go again on 38 for four, trailing by 222 runs. Their title rivals will now be watching this game with increased interest.